What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're starting a new series on the channel. It's all based around this big tin of coins I picked up from the antique shop down the road from me. I paid just £30 for this whole thing. Um, I'm very excited to get into it because I had a little sneaky peek through when the lady showed me it. Um, there's a few that caught my eye. I was putting them to one side. I was going to try and buy a few. I just said to her, how much for the whole lot? She said, what, 30 quid? I said, yes, please. And I took it. I did say to her, I do know her quite well. I said to her, I'll come back and chuck you a few quid if I find anything particularly special. Um, but there is a couple of nice bits in here. And I haven't, I probably looked at 5% of it. I only had a quick peek. But what we're going to do with these videos is we're going to have an initial look through. We'll hunt through X amount of coins, maybe 30 or 40 coins. We'll put them all out. I'll do a quick edit. I'll run off, log them on my Mister come back and identify any we couldn't make out what they were or confirm new countries and any particular low mintages or anything like that. So we'll do that for every episode. I think it's quite a good way to do it. So we can have an initial look through and then we'll come back quickly afterwards and tell you exactly what's what. And we're gonna start with a few that I pulled to one side. Why not? I don't wanna mix those back in with the others. And this, of course, caught my eye being bright purple. It's actually plastic. It's for the 20th anniversary surprise parade at Walt Disney World. It's quite interesting, that one. Of course, I did see what this was, so I have looked this one up already. And I saw one sale recently for about a fiver. And I saw a couple for sale, uh, two for £10. But they are all different colours, so I'm not sure on that. It's quite interesting, though. And next up, we have an Irish pound. Now, we did recently do our Irish coin collection video, and this is a coin we did not have. So I'm very glad to have one of these now. This is from 1990, and that will be going into my Irish coin collection. It's a great design as well, isn't it? We do have an animal on a coin. Also, I spotted this, the 1982 Guernsey 50 pence. We do have one with the, the hat on already, but it's, it's a new Pence one. And then, of course, they changed it at some point. I'm not sure on the exact date. That side is in lovely condition, isn't it? So there's our first territory find. Um, was there anything else I'd put to one side? Oh, yes. This was the other one that I'd seen straight away. And this is a country we do not have. And this is the Republic of Panama. This is our first coin from Panama. So it's a brand new country. I think that takes us to 145 now. I will confirm towards the end of the video. It's in quite nice condition. Bit of a mark on his helmet there. But lovely to have a coin from Panama into the collection. Right, we're just going to start picking them out now. Here's another territory. It's a 1968 10 new pence. Pretty sure I've got this, but we will check. And what we might do as well is put a few coins that I've definitely already got to one side, maybe for a giveaway at the end of this series. We'll see what we can do about that. There's a 100 lira from Italy, 1974. We've got a few of these, but we'll have to check if that's a new date or not. Excellent. Hong Kong, $5. Pretty sure we have this as well. Not sure, we'll have to check the date. Cool thing about this coin is the edge. Has like a recessed edge there. and does say Hong Kong, $5. Quite a thick coin. Awesome find. Now we've seen a few of these on the channel recently. That's an Irish 10 pence, 1975. I'd say we probably have that. I can't remember off the top of my head. And here's another Irish coin, a 20 pence this time. We gave one of those away in our last giveaway. GSA Wolf Coins won that. 1986. We'll have to check our dates on those to see if we have that or not. Let's keep rattling through. 
There's a US one cent. Nice condition. 1984. No mint marks. That'd be Philadelphia mint. One for the date run. Is there anything that's catching my eye that I can pull out? Oh, let's have a look at this. Because I don't think we have one of these. This was another one. There's a couple of these in there, I think. I did spot this before. I'm pretty sure this is Algerian. They do the this sort of font on their numbers. We do have a few Algerian coins already. I may be wrong. I will let you know towards the end of the video when we come back after the edit. And what is this as well? Hmm. Five something. I'm not sure on that one. I think that could be Algerian again. I, I don't know though. That's definitely one for the end of the video. We will come back and let you know what that is there. I think we might have a few of these unidentifiable ones. Not unidentifiable, but unknown to me. There's a US quarter. 1973 so that's a clad one of course you can see the outer coating and the inner there different colors anything else catching my eye what's this new york city transit authority that's interesting good for one fare Quite an interesting token, not one I've seen before. Have to do a little bit of research on that one for sure. Let's just keep picking through. There's a French, five francs, 1992. This is gonna do a world of good for my date runs for sure. There is the Sower. We have seen her on the channel before when we've done the letter F of my worldwide, worldwide collection. Get my words out. Quite a cool design. Is this our first mainland British coin? 1962, one penny. We've certainly got a few of those knocking around somewhere here. Is that another penny? There's another penny, 1967. The last circulated year of the old penny. We've got tons of those. Tons and tons, and there, a lot of them are in really good condition. Oh, here's another French. This is a cool design, the 10 francs. Do love this. Showing the industry there. It's quite a thick one as well. Has the, the French motto. Liberty, Egality, Fraternity. Something like that. And then this side is pretty cool as well. The map of France there. I think the centre of that is Paris, isn't it? Awesome coin. Pretty sure we've probably got that though already. That year, we've got quite a few years. We will check, of course. One franc, 1977. The Sower again. This is Swiss, two francs. It's even an exchange. Um, it's got to be worth, it's worth at least one pound fifty, I think. Two francs, Swiss francs, still used now, of course. And we've got quite a good date run on the Swiss coins. That may help us out, though. There's one catching my eye here. What is this? Oh, it's Belgian. I don't think I've seen this before. 1972, 10 francs. Hmm. Like a coat of arms, flags at the top. Almost like a stage curtain. That's one for research. Wow, and a very bare obverse. Just the portrait and the signature at the bottom there, presumably the artist. 
That's definitely one to look into. I'm not sure about that at all. I've not seen one of those before. What's next? There's another US quarter, 1984. A Dutch, or sorry, Netherlands, two and a half guilder, 1980. Very shiny. Juliana there, Queen of the Netherlands. Awesome. It's another French, quite a few French in here so far. 1989, 20 centimes. Quite nice condition. Don't usually see them so shiny. And of course, even if I do have the coin in my date run, I would check if it's a better condition one, especially if it looks to be a nice condition one. There's another Irish 10 pence. Is it the Atlantic Salmon? I can't remember now. 1973. This one's interesting. It's different. 1984, 1954. So it's a 30 year celebration of something. This might be again the same as same as this and possibly it is Algerian again I'm not sure though that's one to come back to if you do know put it in the comments now I'll believe you that you didn't wait until I told you at the end what it was five kroner hmm I think that's probably Norwegian yes Olav the fifth, King of Norway. See the um, cat, I'm not sure what, what cat it is, with an axe, awesome. What's next? Two francs, again from Switzerland. So that's another £1.50 in straight up exchange rate, 1968. I think that's just missing silver i think that's the first year of the cooper nickel ones if i remember rightly still cool i don't think it yeah i don't think it's silver 1968 i'm sure that's the first year there's another french franc 1977 the sower again and another, 1975, I see a scalloped coin, shall we see what this is? Oh, it's going to be a tricky one, isn't it? I do love these scalloped coins. Oh, well it's five. Oh, isn't it? Oh, I think this might be Iranian. Because they use that that same five, don't they? Is it Iranian? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, guys. That's one for the end. We will confirm. So another French. We'll rattle through these if we see them. One franc again. 1977. So we actually already had that date as well. That's catching my eye. That'd be Israeli. It's a large Israeli coin. I don't think we've got this one already. 100 Shekelim. I'm almost certain that's a new coin for the collection. I don't think I've seen that before. I've seen the similar design, but on a smaller coin, much smaller coin. Cool. Next. Possibly our first Spanish coin of the hunt. 25 Pesetas. 1957, Francisco Franco Caudillo de España por la... Can't even fit it all on, they've had to abbreviate it at the end. Of course, it says 1957 on the obverse. The date of mintage will be in that little star there. 
59 perhaps, maybe. I can't quite make it out. We will have a close look afterwards. What's next? We've got five francs. This is Swiss. 1968. 1968. Yeah, there's a thing with these, and some of them are demonetized, and some of them aren't. I think this is early, so it's not. Because some of the early ones are still okay, and then some from certain dates were heavily forged. I think the difference is, if I remember rightly, yeah, this one's okay. If the if it's demonetized, the edge um, lettering is like our coins, where it's sunk into the coin, but the ones that are still in use today are the ones with the raised lettering, like this, I believe. But during the 80s, somewhere around there, they changed it and put, changed them and made them the other ones, but then they were heavily forged, I think. That's why they were withdrawn. But I believe the ones with the raised lettering on the edges are still legal tender. So that's about four pounds in straight up swap exchange. But that'll be going in the collection if I don't have that date. I do have a couple already. If you know any more about that, do let me know. All right, next up, it's Portuguese. 100 Escudos, Republica Portuguesa, 1991. Almost certain I already have that. We certainly have the coin, whether we have that date, we'll have to check. These 100 Lira coins are always so shiny, aren't they? 1978, Republica Italiana, very nice. Shall we do a few more? There's another 1968, two francs. That one's in a much better condition. And confirms it's definitely Cupra Nickel. This one just had, had a funny, funny tone into it. Threw me off for a second, whether it could have been silver, but I'm almost certain 1968 is the first year where they stopped making them silver. There's another mainland UK coin. 1963 English one shilling. Of course, you get the variation with one lion. That's the Scottish one. Excellent. If we find something good, some good ones to finish us off, or should I just keep picking them out? There's our first German coin. Five Deutschmark. And that's a 1990 with a J mint mark at the bottom. Cool. We'll have to check if we've got that or not. Ah, look at this. The good old blimp glider. These ones show up everywhere. I don't think I've seen another one from the series. But the blimp glider, was this, was this like the first one? Which everybody got and then, because it was cheap or something and then nobody got the rest of the magazines? Was it a magazine thing? I'm not even sure. But you always seem to see the blimp glider from these Teenage Mutant Hero Turtle sets. So that we definitely already have and i actually remember sending one i think i sent it to christopher in one of those world uh, coin mystery bags that i used to do for him but perhaps that will go in the giveaway let me know <laughs> if you want a chance at winning that all right let's do a couple more we'll round this section of the video off at about 20 minutes 50 bin lira year 2000 that's turkish and then I'll run off, log all these, come back and tell you about them in a little bit more detail and what's new for me and what's not. I'm trying to find something cool. See another uh, multi-sided one there, but that's another one of those Algerian ones. It's a different date though, 1981 as opposed to 1979. What else can we do? There's another... One penny, 1965. Right, let's have a quick look for what the skins your ears there, if that was loud. One peach to have a look at, finish us off. 
Well, there's another one of those Irish pounds. I can't wait to get through all of this. There we go, let's finish on this. This is a bit different. It's 50p shaped. And also, the same thickness. Pretty much, I think maybe the old 50p is a little bit thicker. But it's a Republic of Kenya, five shillings. Nineteen eighty-five. These do pop up now and again. Usually they're a little bit worse for wear. And there we see Daniel Toroitch, Toroitich, President of Republic of Kenya. So a good one to finish on. So I'll run off now. I'll get them all logged on the Mister. I'll come back and tell you exactly what these ones were, which we weren't sure on. Pretty sure these two are definitely Algerian. Not sure on those. We'll see if there's anything really special. I'm interested to know about this Belgian one. Um, and yeah, Panama as well. I'm interested to get that logged on as a new coin. See you in a second and I'll tell you a little bit more about them. Nice one. So we're back. It's a couple of hours later. I was doing a few other bits in between doing this as well, but I finally got it done. Let's rattle through quickly again and let you know what was what exactly. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, but yeah, <laughs> we'll keep it for now. The Irish uh, pound, pretty common that one, but like I said, nice to have one. We didn't have one in the collection. We certainly picked the crackers out at the start because this is the lowest mintage that we found. 150,000 on the 1982 Guernsey. And then the new country did take us up to 145 Panama and this has a low mintage as well just 400,000 1982 half Balboa medio means half apparently and then 1968 jersey we've got that so we put that in the pot for the giveaway the giveaway won't be today we're just going to put them aside and maybe do one at the end of the series we won't necessarily pull every duplicate out for the giveaway every episode, but I think we're going to do that today. The 100 lira, that's a new date. That's staying with me. The Hong Kong one, I actually didn't have. I have got a similar coin, but it doesn't have a queen on the obverse. It has an orchid or some flower or something. I can't remember exactly what it was. So that's staying with me as well. The two Irish coins, the 10 and 20 pence, got both of those. They're in the giveaway pot as is that US cent. The one caveat to this is if the one, the US cent I've got like this isn't in as good condition, I will swap it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we were right with Algeria on these and two different dates. And these are the only two dates it exists, but I believe as well. Um, and the 1979 one was minted at the Royal Mint and the 1981 um, I think minted at the French Mint, Paris Mint. So yeah, they're both brand new. Um, it's good to find Algerian coins because I haven't got many at all. This again was Algerian, so that's staying with me. That's a new one and it was 10 years of independence. Um, US quarter, that is a new year for me, staying with me. The token, I even found a mintage figure on this. There's two varieties, but this one has a little SJD just there. There's actually a 50 million of these minted, so not not particularly scarce, but nice to have in the collection. I've got quite a few tokens now. Um, French five francs. That's a new year for me. The pennies they'll go in the giveaway for sure. We've got all of those. As the 10 francs as well giveaway and the one francs. The Swiss two. That's a new date for me. The Belgian coin wasn't anything particularly special. It is a common circulating 10 francs, but it's not one I'd seen before, and it's not one we have. So that's a new coin. Um, doo -doo -doo, where were we? 1984 US quarter. That's going in the giveaway pile. As is the two and a half guilder. We've got that as well. 1980, we've already got that date. And then we've got... 
20 centimes, that's a new date, so we're keeping that. The other Irish 10 pence, that goes in. This again was Algerian, and this is I think 30 years since the revolution. Yeah, that was it. Norway, that's a new coin, didn't have that. Now with this Swiss two francs from 1968, you see the one on the right does have a mint mark just at the bottom there. It's a B mint mark. And that means it was minted in the Bern Mint in Switzerland. And the one with no mint mark was minted in London at the Royal Mint. Um, which one was it? I don't have. I don't have the Royal Mint one. So that's staying with me. And the one minted in Bern is going into the giveaway. And then one franc that we've got so two of those into the giveaway pile um and that one the scalloped coin i was wrong on i was close but i was wrong um it's not iranian it's iraqi and that's a new coin for me nice coin into the iraqi collection i don't have many at all the israel one that's a new coin Spanish 25 pesetas that we've already got for that year. Um, the five francs that's definitely a new year, and I did look up as well the demonetized years I was talking about just earlier in the video are between 1985 and 1993. Obviously, they've still got a collectible value, but they're not worth the exchange rate that this one is. Because if you took this and exchanged it or spent it in Switzerland, it's actually worth four pounds 19. So yeah, uh, Portuguese, I'm sure we've got that, haven't we? Yeah, we've got that. 100 Escudos into the giveaway. The 100 Lira is a new date. The Shilling, of course, goes into the giveaway. We've got a full date run of those. We know that from the tub videos. Um, doo -doo -doo. Five Deutschmark, that's a new one. The J Mint Mark, didn't have that. The Blimp Glider, we'll put that in. Turkey, that's a new date, the um, 50 bin lira. The other penny can go in the giveaway. And the cool Kenyan 50p ripoff. Not a ripoff, I'm sure it's minted at the Royal Mint as well, isn't it, probably? That goes in as well. So we've got quite a nice few coins there going into the giveaway section. We will, as I say, stay tuned for the rest of the series. We'll be giving those away at some point. Depending on how many videos we end up doing, it might be part way through and then we'll do another one at the end. So I think we've got quite a, quite a few coins to get through here, but I think it was a fairly even split, slightly more going into the collection than in the giveaway pile. I think 19 or 20 here, then about 25 or so going into the collection. So a good hunt all round. New country in Panama. That's probably the star find. And the rarest coin we found, as I said, was the 1982 Guernsey 50 pence, 150,000 mintage. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the format, having a quick look through first. Well, fairly quick look through first, and then coming back at the end and telling you a bit more about them. Um, leave us a comment, drop us a thumbs up, and watch some more of my videos. See you later.